All right. Uh, Ian, mm. we've brought this up in the past uh, in various ways about the whole Billy Mitchell uh, saga with Twin Galaxies, with the him being uh, allegedly uh, cheating um, at Pac-Man, Donkey Kong scores, and then Twin Galaxies doing their, by their words, their like third, like impartial uh, viewing of of the past records, and then striking them from their records, yeah. and then giving him a, a, a lifetime ban. I think this, this, this happened a year and a half, two years ago, here. And then we we, we also reported on, I guess, him threatening uh, to sue Twin Galaxies, and he had the whole weird like 100 page document with the him fucking the picture of him on the cover surrounded by women it was what a fucking tool anyways <clears throat> but anyway so court filings ob- obtained by Ars Technica show that Mitchell had already filed suit against Twin Galaxies in a Los Angeles County court as early as April 2019 Twin Galaxies it must be based around there that's where it is uh, Mitchell's defamation lawsuit Misfiled as William James Mitchell versus Twin Galaxies. It's mis it's misspelled Galaxies. It's G A L E X in there, uh, and, and not, <laughs> not reported in previous press accounts. It's been slowly uh, building to a planned July anti-slap hearing, where Twin Galaxies will make use of a statute that lets defendants quickly strike down lawsuits that threaten public participation. Twin Galaxy says in court filings that its statements regarding Mitchell's scores were not defi- defamatory and that f- finding in Mitchell's favor would have chilling effects on the freedom of speech. Okay, so what is an anti-slap? So a majority of states by this point have what's called an anti-slap statute or law. So what that is, I'm trying to see how many states there are, but it's a lot of them, California included. So basically what that means is it's, if someone sues you for slander or, or libel, uh, Traditionally, you'd have to get a lawyer. It'd be super expensive. You have to go through it. So what these states, especially since a lot of them are just trying to, you know, uh, b- big companies trying to trying to silence smaller people or scare them away from, you know, from or silence basically silence your critics. Um, so an anti-slap was put in place as as a law where basically it's an expedi- expedient way to go in from a ju- in front of a judge. It doesn't cost that much. Even get a lawyer, it wouldn't cost a huge amount. And basically, the lawyer. Excuse me. The judge can basically throw things out in their face before it even gets building. Sure. So it's a way. It's a way to prevent, um, again, the, you know, big predatory actions from people that just want to silence you from actual criticism or freedom of speech. You know. So this is what they're going to do um, here against Billy Mitchell. That's what they're trying Twin Galaxies to get it thrown out of court. So so we'll see what happens uh, at that point uh, in time. I, I think it's I think it's ridiculous and it's very childish of Billy Mitchell. Um, you have to follow a certain set of rules to have a score. If you don't follow that certain set of rules to have a score, then your score is no longer valid. You didn't follow that certain set of rules, so your score is no longer valid. It's very easy. No one has to put your score back in. So this is what this is this is the angle uh, Billy Mitchell's going for. He's arguing that Twin Galaxies published statements regarding the scores that. Publish, basically by publishing that we're getting ready for scores that they were libelous on their face because of the implication that Mitchell did not achieve his record scores legitimately so it's it's an implication he he's he's arguing that you're basically saying that since the the scores weren't legitimate you're calling me a cheater that's 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 basically the angle he's going for here if I'm reading this right um so that's going to be his argument in court Mitchell argues that Twin Galaxies at least implied that he was a cheater so that any reasonable reader would understand Twin Galaxies had called Mitchell a cheater who deserved punishment by stripping him of, of all his Twin Galaxies records and banning him for life from submitting further records. So this is going to be a mess because then even if this gets past the anti-slap part and actually goes to trial, what, what, was gonna, what would happen is that they would have to put Billy on the stand and have to do depositions. This is what happens when you go after someone for slander or libel. You're the one, the, 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 they, you're, you're basically the person accusing is the one basically being put on trial at that point. Right. Because you have to prove that the defendant willfully um, said something they knew was false. So that means they're going to dredge up everything about you. They're going to look into whether or not you achieve these scores uh, legitimately. Yeah. Because if, if you didn't, then it's, the, then the case is thrown out automatically. Right. So that means they're going to have to get experts on the stand. Uh, Billy's going to have to be deposed uh, potentially about this. This is going to be a weird case where you're going to have to have like 
someone explaining, well, this is why it's remember the whole thing about the MAME thing. This is why the MAME screen right. was here. <clears throat> that would have to be brought up in this lawsuit. Mm -hmm. All these fucking little minu minutia points. A jury would have to potentially hear all these arguments and come to the reasonable conclusion that Twin Galaxies thought that their own conclusions weren't true in acting and they were acting maliciously on top of, of lying. They had to have known that they were lying. So like it's it's really hard to prove these slander and libel cases and they could last a while and cost a lot of money, which is why again this anti slap things exist in I think a majority of states. Because it's just like the judge might look at this and be like, What is like what is this? Yeah. Just go home. Just leave. Just Please. just go home. Stop being ridiculous. So that's what I think's gonna happen, but again, I'm not an expert on, on uh, slander libel cases here. Mitchell takes particular issue with Twin Galaxy's alleged refusal to consider 25 sworn affidavits from, light, from eyewitnesses supporting his claims in favor of an exclusive focus on, in quotes, scientific evidence. Um, Twin Galaxy's founder, Walter Day, is quoted saying that he finds it unexplainable that my testimony as the founder and former owner is disregarded, while others, specifically the ones against Billy, are embraced. Well, they're looking at the footage, they're looking at, you know... They were analyzing, it was at Arcade, was it MAME? That's going to be a lot of this, I, I believe, when it comes down to it. You know, it's tough. It's, it's tough. Again, this goes back to like a lot of these records are, uh, some of these are decades old, right? Going back to the 80s. And it's like, who the hell was inputting them at the time? And what was the evidence? Are those VHS tapes still around? You know, this is, I'm so glad I'm not in this community. I'm so glad I'm not like in the Arcade, uh, you know, record setting community high score community it's a weird mess man i just i just don't I, to me to me it's just like holding on to that uh, hold on to that uh hold on to it a little longer and i just don't see the point you know 40 35 years later it's i don't i mean it must be a small community that cares about this shit still it yeah. has to be at this point there anyway so yeah we'll see what happens Twin Galaxy's motion highlights the, the 3,770 post dispute thread surrounding Mitchell's Donkey Kong scores. It was viewed 2.4 million times as of March 14th. The thread includes entries from 107 unique contributors and 211 public votes on the desired outcome of the case. Mitchell lost that vote in that thread 198 to 13. So again, this is all stuff that would come out in a trial. I'll be like, hey, yeah. listen, we have, we have these experts. We have these people that decide these things and we went by their you know so this is an up this is an uphill battle i believe for billy mitchell and his lawyer that's that's what i firmly uh believe in this yeah case. i don't see how this is going to end well for them but sure there it is um and obviously it it's, includes i believe defamation there again it's, it's hard to, to it, you're not defamed if it's true Right, exactly. So just because it's if, if, just so because they, it right, it makes you look bad or you don't like it doesn't mean it's defamation. So if, so all if they claim that, well, this was our findings. If we didn't directly call you a cheater, we didn't defame you. If everyone else was thinking that based upon our what we consider truthful findings, that that's just the way it works. That's like saying you're defamed for you know uh, being called a thief if you were convicted of a crime and went to jail for it. It's like you're not being defamed. No, it's we're just a, a thief. yeah, it's, it's just an unfortunate truth. <laughs> it's, a, it's a characterization based upon uh, what they what they think were the facts. So okay, anyway. So all right, well that's that's I guess we'll 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 see what happens later in the summer when this uh, goes in front of a goes in front of a judge.